Poštovane dame i gospodo, dobar dan i dobrodošli na predstavljanje... Dear ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the presentation of the draft plan of, of the master plan. Uh, my name is Ivan Radak. Uh, I represent NALET and I will be moderating this event. Today's presentation marks the final stage of the consultation process about the uh, master plan and um, information, the information about this plan and everything, all the efforts about the improvement of the healthcare system in Serbia can be found on the website uh, of the www.optimizacijazdravstva.org. RS and uh, you can uh, present your comments until February 12th. This is uh, the, pr uh, the effort of the second health care project of Serbia implemented uh, by the International Consor Consortium uh, comprised of Delta House, IBF uh, from Belgia Belgium and NALED. I will briefly present today's agenda. Uh, we will have representatives of the Ministry of Health. Um, participating uh, who took part in this project and um, we will hear about key changes uh, uh, that uh, the uh, master plan will introduce and uh, we will hear suggestions and discussion about its content if you want to join our discussion after presentation you can click uh, on the the hand or you can raise your hand and i will uh, give you uh, the the floor uh, all those who monitor um, our discussion uh, via links can use Slido application. You can click on the link that you got in the invite, or you can you can uh, turn you can print a hashtag or uh, click on the hashtag optimizacija. There are more than 120 people following us through our streaming service. So I would like to invite uh, the State Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Professor Dr. Ferenc Vitsko, to open our discussion uh, officially. And we would also like to invite uh, uh, Professor Dr. Berislav Vekic, uh, an another State Secretary, uh, to join us as well. Mr. Vitsko, the floor is yours. I think we're experiencing uh, some technical problems. Samo da vidimo profesor Vic koji se isključio. Yes, we can hear you. I can see you and, and hear you. First of all, good afternoon. And allow me to greet you on behalf of the Ministry of Health, uh, Minister Lonchar and myself, and also Professor Vekic's name. Uh, the optimization, the network optimization in healthcare institutions is a key process for us to achieve a more efficient uh, and, uh, healthcare and the healthcare of better quality in the Republic of Serbia. We have to understand this, to see this as a draft plan. This is a draft plan still. And I would like to draw your attention to this and we have until February 20 um, to finish it or to comment uh, on it uh, we have consulted with over 253 healthcare institutions in Serbia our team uh, went to visit them and we had sufficient amount of time to receive all their constructive suggestions and uh, we are open for all other suggestions and, and proposals, and we are ready to um, to uh, add new ones. The benefits of such a plan, the plan to optimize the network in Serbia, are, are multifold, and uh, we need to have um, a, a topical, current information about the healthcare system in Serbia in order to be able to rationalize our costs, to cut costs, and to use uh, the, the, the existing capacity of our healthcare system to the maximum level to meet the needs of our citizens and we think that we will um, be able to do all that by designing our healthcare system and before I uh, stop uh, my philosophy now uh, 
I would just want to say that our healthcare system is a live, a living organism, if I can call it that way, and uh, there is no one intervention, no such one intervention that can be sufficient or enough. Uh, our system must be continuously fine-tuned uh, and uh, improved uh, in order to um, meet the needs of the citizens um, in line with its capacity. Once again, I would like to greet you all, and I'm looking forward to your, all your questions and the future discussion to, that will enable us to optimize our network in the best possible way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Vitsko. The second health um, care project in Serbia uh, that uh, involved the uh, master plan preparation uh, is implemented with the support of uh, the World Bank and we will hear from Bilena Kozlovic about this project more. I will turn it over to her. Can you hear us? Good. Can you hear me? Thank you, even uh, good um, afternoon uh, to everyone. I would like to greet you all on behalf of the Coordination Project Unit of the Ministry of Health and the World Bank. And uh, as you have just said, uh, we are implementing this project and we are drafting and designing the optimization uh, plan. The second uh, project uh, amount to 29 million euros worth 29 million euros uh, worth of project began in May tw in 2015 and in 2018 we have got 25 million euros additional uh, money and uh, the project is in its last year of implementation and given that it should end in December this year the preparation and the design of the master plan is one of our uh, most important and crucial activities. We have engaged uh, an international tender. We have engaged IBF from Belgium, Delta House from Croatia, and Nalit from Serbia. They have been selected to implement uh, this particular activity. And um, I would like to use this opportunity to extend my thanks uh, to the consultants for their professional efforts and uh, uh, for the fact that they have implemented this activity in a very difficult cir circumstances. Also, we owe special thanks to the team of consultants of the project unit within component one of our project, spearheaded by Dr. Simo Vukovic. All this, uh, nothing, nothing of, uh, uh, would, would have been possible without uh, the Ministry of Health team. Uh, they have been assisting the teams uh, since the day one of the project implementation, and they have helped achieve uh, the desired results. Also, we wanted to thank uh, the World Bank team, not just because of the funds that they have approved for our activities, but also for their technical assistance. Uh, they helped us prepare for this project and implement all our activities. And finally, I would like to inform you that uh, two months ago, exactly, um, a two, uh, actually, a new project uh, uh, of the Ministry of Health and the World Bank uh, uh, kicked off, and this is 92 million, do uh, million euros worth of project uh, which will last until uh, 2022 uh, and is aimed to strengthen the healthcare uh, system in Serbia to fight COVID-19. Uh, this project anticipates a procurement of uh, vehicles, ambulance vehicles, um, uh, beds for hospitals, monitors to uh, monitor the vital functions of bodies, and also uh, to strengthen the, uh, the capacity of our PCR laboratories. I must say that we have used the data and analysis prepared by the consultants of our consortia for this particular project. And I believe that such a comprehensive document, once it is adopted, would be an excellent starting point for the preparation of possible future projects of the Ministry of Health. That will be all that I had to share with you today. And I wish you a successful public hearing and discussion. 
Thank you, Dr. Kozlovic. The consortium of the three organizations that prepared the master plan have gathered a lot of information and data, and they have uh, prepared an ID, designed an ID uh, card of our healthcare system. The consortium is spearheaded by uh, the IBF um, from Belgium, and today we have uh, its director with us, Alexandra, and she will also uh, share um, their point of view of this project. Alexander, the floor is yours. Welcome to this uh, finance conference. On behalf of IBF International Consulting and its partner, Naled and Delta House, I would like to thank our project counterparts, beneficiary and clients, for the support given to our project team. As already indicated by my colleagues uh, so far, allow me to stress here that the experts in the field assured continuously their commitment to the project despite this current pandemic crisis, and we don't take this for granted. So we can really say that all together we have been able to go the extra mile and uh, it is really a success story, but I let now our colleagues detail the challenges and achievements of our assignment. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you, Alessandra. And Isada uh, Breme, Naravno. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. And now it's the time for us to hear more about the master plan itself. Sinisha Varga, Dr. Sinisha Varga, a consultant of the Delta House, will uh, present it together with the assistant minister, uh, Radica Bulajevic, and uh, Dr. Simo Vukovic, the coordinator of the component one of the second health care project in Serbia. We also have other team members present here. And uh, we also have uh, Nevenka Kovac and Tatjanka, um, two pits from Delta House, uh, uh, they will also support the presentation. And I would, I would like to ask them to join us. Um, give me a second. Sanama is Sinisha and Dakle, ponovit ću još jednom da nakon prezentacije otvaramo diskusiju na kojoj će svi učesnici konferencije koji nas prate putem platforme moći da se jave za reč podizanjem ruke. Takođe, svi koji nas prate u online prenosu na sajtu Optimizacija zdravstva na raspolaganju imate link ka aplikaciji Slido u pozivu ili možete da uđete na sajt sli.do i ukucavanje hashtaga optimizacija da dođete do dela za pitanje. Ono što je vrlo bitno da je... What's important is that... Uh, please like the questions that have been asked already because we will start with those who earn the, the, the largest number of likes. So I see 30 questions uh, uh, posted and we will have um, a lot of lot of material for our discussion. Sinisha, um, I will not uh, take too much of your time. I will turn it over to you. I would like to thank the, min the representative of the Ministry of Health for giving us an opportunity to join uh, such a sig enormously important uh, reform effort uh, uh, within the second healthcare project in Serbia. And this is something that um, that was an interesting effort that uh, uh, was implemented through um, a long, uh, a lengthy period of time that involved the, uh, the advent of the coronavirus. Uh, uh, and um, on top of that, we had to analyze an enormous amount of data. And I believe that we have provided the suggestions and comments that will be useful to the Ministry of Health and that the Ministry of Health will be able to use for a, for a long period of time in the future in I will share my screen and presentation so the premise that we uh, started with uh, is that in the short in the forthcoming period until 2035 we want to enable the citizens of Serbia good health and to enable the Republic of Serbia as a country uh, to uh, improve uh, and to develop its system and to have a good uh, system to take care of the life and the health of citizens. In looking at the past and at the current moment, at the present, um, 
we wanted to preserve uh, those institutions and those points uh, uh, which showed a good quality. But we, we have also perceived uh, that the access to the quality services is not always uh, available in Serbia, in Serbia and everywhere. It's not everywhere the case. And we tried to suggest uh, rooms for improvement or you don't see my presentation? Uh, it's in mind that it's it's shared. Can you see it? Try it again. I'm sorry, guys. Disable. Yenva, Yenva, Yenva. Dakle, samo na primjer. Okay, only uh, let's use the example of the cancer patients. Uh, in several presentations, Serbia already presented this, but it's important to show it again to show how the healthcare system efficiency uh, looks like uh, in terms of the uh, effects of uh, effects of the uh, and results of work. Slovak. The Slovakia, Slovenia, and Czech Republic uh, are used in this example, who are former socialist countries uh, which have been uh, in uh, this uh, group of uh, countries until recently in terms of uh, high uh, level of mo mortality related to cancer, uh, to, uh, cancer incidents, uh, but uh, with a high level of uh, um, uh, costs. Uh, with reforms, they managed to move away from this uh, group. They had significant improvements in terms of efficiency of the system uh, related to, in, in regard to uh, a uh, to the process. Uh, but you see that the uh, Czech Republic hasn't increased the cost too, uh, significantly. Uh, so rationalization, optimization, and more efficient healthcare uh, 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 health protection system, uh, better results can be achieved. And this was the actually the idea uh, that you know uh, was the main driver. How can Serbia move away from uh, uh, you know in terms of improving the situation uh, uh, and how we can move it uh, to. Uh, uh, having to move it to this group of people. Of course, this is also related to other diseases, uh, uh, but these are the topics that are going to be going to see in the presentation. I would like to uh, ask my colleague to explain the, uh, the, the, the project itself and the, the course of the project. The presentation is actually not uh, running itself, so if you can open it again or you can put it on the s full screen, please, it's on the full screen. Full screen, please. Off, okay, my presentation has been, uh, is closed. Now share, I'm trying to share it. Okay, let's see, yep. Can you see it now? I can s still not a uh, in f full screen, please. It's in presentation, presentation view. Yes, uh, it's presentation view now. Can you see it? Slideshow is on. Yeah, but we don't see it that way. Uh, I see it as a slideshow. Uh, it looks like we'll have to stick to what we have in our hands now. I'll try it again. I'll try to try it with the the entire screen button. No. Uh, no. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Okay, where we talk about the activities carried out. Um, we already talked about it. The important thing is to say that uh, uh, health and demographic trends have been analyzed, the infrastructure, equipment, finances, communications, everything related to IT uh, in healthcare uh, and legal framework. It's important to say that to match a few figures so that you see what, what is the scope of what we worked on in the last uh, one in a year and a half since September 2019 
278 visits in the field. 99% uh, percent of directors actually have been actively participating. So we're talking about the healthcare institutions, directors, managers. So they pre presented the problems, their views during our visits. Certain regional roundtables have been held uh, with businesses. Then we had consultations, then we had uh, a, uh, a seminar in Vrnjačka Banja with more than 500 participants. Uh, then the uh, survey, uh, citizen survey, which included 1,100 uh, participants, and al already uh, we already mentioned that uh, uh, more than 50 foreign and domestic experts were involved into this project. If we go deeper into the figures, more than 6,000 files have been produced. So we, uh, you know, kid, we were kidding about this. We said that 17 gigabytes of data are only on. I uh, only for this project and only the Windows installation file is bigger than this one. Uh, of course, this we were kidding about it. Uh, more than 1,700 GIS little maps have been uh, uh, processed. Uh, uh, there was a, a online survey uh, out of total 12 online uh, surveys, and we had 95% participation rate. So through these seminars, we have uh, collected a um, a huge amount of da data, 3,400 400 questionnaires filled out. Uh, so uh, interactive GIS, uh, GIS tool was produced uh, and, uh, and other analysis tools have been also used uh, and uh, uh, reports here have been submitted in English, in Cyrillic and Latin, in Serbian your socioeconomic analysis, uh, healthcare context, uh, system analysis, and optimization plan. Uh, it's been the topic of our support today. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, let's go back to the topic itself. One of the th things that we that was uh, uh, considered uh, important from the very start was better cooperation between healthcare institutions. We also tried to comprehend the problem of the Ministry of Health on terms how to manage 350 uh, uh, healthcare institutions from one central spot. That's why we proposed uh, two types of integration, functional and institutional uh, integration. Uh, uh, this will be this will reappear during our presentation therefore I think that we need to explain it in, in details functional integration is is when you have two uh, healthcare institutions which are completely separate See, in terms of as legal entities but via contract they have a relationship they share human resources equipment uh, uh, tools uh, and each one is then a, a specialized uh, in terms of achieving efficiency. That's the next one is the, is the, the second one institutional integration when you have merging uh, several two or more uh, healthcare institutions into one single legal entity. The second segment that's uh, very important uh, was uh, how to regionalize a Republic of Serbia in terms of achieving more efficient management and you know using the resources uh, adequately. Uh, we propose to split Serbia into seven healthcare regions. So we had data for uh, six uh, regions and uh, we focused on, that, on them and each uh, region has its headquarters and the structure uh, is also presented via the counties or the districts inside the region. Uh, I will give floor to uh, uh, Tatiana now to talk about the uh, optimization of primary health care. Uh, primary health care is the uh, foundation of the health care uh, system and it has to work if we want the system to work now in corona times it proved that that uh that the, the, you know uh, when uh hospitals were under severe pressure uh, uh primary health institutions were actually there to fulfill the primary health care rights uh, of uh, the citizens uh, because many of the cases that you know come to the primary health care institution can be resolved there uh, of course, all this requires efficient organization. With this uh, uh, goal, uh, if proposed, uh, 
in a long term period in a general ma uh, practice or general medical practice to introduce to, to have more than 80% of specialists, and then pediatrics and uh, um, uh, uh, gynecology uh, in other specialized services. Of course, pro was proposed that a lot of services should be transferred to nurses uh, with uh, 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 with uh, various levels of uh, education, so that the services, base services, can be uh, you know provided at that level. This is one of the global trends uh, where, uh, you know, uh, most of the services are moved from the primary adult to, to Na kraju. nurses. And then in the end, we would have a uh, healthcare system that has be will, that will be able uh, to sustain all the pressures that are coming uh, in the future, uh, actually the result of the bad life uh, starts that are leading to a lot, huge number of chronic diseases. One of the uh, uh, interesting thing was the um, you know like the counseling centers. Well, the patients would be the focus uh, of, of of the medical system to work. For example, uh, you know non-smoking, uh, you know um, reducing alcoholism, and then uh, you know general medicine, general practice. Uh, 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 practice. What what would you mean? by this so monitoring alternatives uh, and working on the uh, working on actually caring the health health of the community uh, also it is important to mention the following the the, the competencies of the areas uh, we need to set uh, uh, we need to define well the, the ultrasound will be used this uh, in this specialističko konzultativne službe predloženo je da se lekarski kadar migrira u bolničku ustanovu kojeg the idea was to have to uh, you know uh, uh, doctors move uh, to uh, the uh, a uh, the, to, to move to the a uh, uh, hospital institution so uh, uh, the uh, with the better organizations that will be a uh, one kind of uh, system organization of the specialized services would be the same uh, in all parts of the uh, Serbian territory. This will allow for the hospital specialists to rota rotate uh, uh, through working uh, uh, in uh, in terms of uh, working in the uh, healthcare uh, centers as regards to house uh, uh, nursing or home nursing uh, it, the proposal is uh, to have the uh, doctors uh, uh, to actually the school selected doctors uh, to uh, uh, to work in this uh, actually 211 doctors we have identified that are in uh, charge of the so-called uh, home care and only the uh, so-called selected doctor knows the patient very well he knows other determinants of the health care of a specific patient and he knows or he she knows when it they should go for a home uh, visit also uh, the role of the medical uh, uh, of, the, of the nurse is actually strengthened because this is the global trend so there's no need to have it different uh, here uh, uh, because this is highly qualified uh, staff uh, also the a uh, also the, the the home visits by nurses uh, 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 they should be you know allowed to work independently uh, uh, one uh, uh, a home uh, uh, nurses sh uh, sh uh, we have identified what would be the level of the service to be provided by each one uh, uh, around 20% of uh, the uh, uh, health nurses, uh, of the public health n uh, nurses, uh, I, uh, are actually working 20% uh, for the uh, chronic uh, uh, patients. Uh, uh, more than 50% of the costs are actually going for the diabetes diabetes and uh, high blood pressure. So the role of uh, these public health nurses should be uh, intensified. The, the, as we said, the, health, the doctors should um, migrate to the hospital institutions and these capacities would be relocated in the long period to palliative uh, care. And the long-term period is the next 15 years. Uh, the next slide, please. In this slide, we can see a 
the proposal that's going towards uh, of um, you know introducing uh, order into complete disorder which is this is belgrade so now uh, clear guidelines for the nurses where to send the, the patients this is about about that so because we saw clearly there is a uh, completely regular a uh, you know uh, regularly defined burden uh, which leads to inefficiency um, you know poor quality of service uh, this way um, uh, you know the burden or actually the pressure on these nutrients would go down and this would allow uh, patients to get a better service and to use m to maximum extent all uh, capacities that are now uh, available in Belgrade. Also, we have analyzed the institutes and what is suggested is to have horizontal um, organization, basically mergers, full mergers, as Sinisha has explained. But in the case of uh, the uh, Institute uh, uh, for the Healthcare of Students and Workers, Institute of the Healthcare of, Wor of Workers, the, they will be at the same horizontal level. Uh, also, uh, we include the mergers with um, uh, health care centers and as for the tuberculosis institutes and uh, the institutes of um, skin and um, venereal diseases, they would be vertically uh, merged. So they would go from primary to secondary health care institutions. So they would be merged with the logical uh, hospitals, with, with those who are the most uh, related and those who are competent to provide those services would be uh, would be allowed to do them. I would turn it over to Nevinka now. Good afternoon to everyone. I would like to wholeheartedly greet you all. And um, we are moving on from the primary to the secondary healthcare. Uh, efforts. Uh, naturally, uh, there couldn't be a single health care reform without cutting costs and without without and without involving the hospitals and the hospital systems. So the, the burden of the reform is uh, going to be uh, relieved by uh, defining categories of hospitals. We have suggested four categories for hospitals that will be actually be differentiated between the, the scope of activities, but also they would be differentiated according to the complexity of services provided. The first category involves general hospitals, what we currently call the general hospitals, that um, uh, provide specific services and the first categories uh, would include the local hospitals and it would involve four main activities internal med medicine gynecology pediatric pediatrics and um, oncologies and with seven additional activities uh, that uh, enable them to function so out of 11 activities it is important to say that local hospitals would provide general specialized services uh, and it would include nine they would cover nine uh, additional uh, additional services that would involve outpatient uh, care uh, outpatient facilities the the, the next category uh, involves uh, nearby hospitals they the this the second category of hospitals would uh, uh, provide the same services as the first category plus nine additional uh, services that can be provided as uh, for to uh, inpatient um, uh, as as an inpatient facilities but also outpatient facilities but if we uh, take a look at the second category the, of hospitals they can provide 36 categories of activities or services and uh, uh, of, of accessibility, uh, uh, their accessibility is very is very um, convenient. Whereas the next categories involve the next category involves regional hospitals. Those hospitals provide tertiary level healthcare, and please don't forget that some cities don't have uh, general hospitals that provide the tertiary healthcare activities, such as Kragujevac, Niš. Um, the, they have university clinical centers and they 
uh, they involve uh, uh, tertiary healthcare uh, activities, but also the secondary healthcare activities. They provide all those services that are provided by the previous categories, plus additional 15 services, in total 47 services or activities. And these involve clinical centers, clinics, institutes, I also mentioned university clinical centers in Kragujevac and Niche. The fourth category is the highest one. Uh, it's, this is the highest level of care, health care, and uh, this involves the provincial hospital. This is the university clinical center um, located in Novi Sad. And the only republic level hospital, national level hospital, is in this fourth category. And this is the University Clinical Center of Serbia, which exclusively involves hospitals that provide the most complex services. They have the most sophisticated equipment and, uh, of course, uh, educated staff. And I must mention that the republic, this, this national level hospital, the is in Belgrade, the Belgrade region, and it provides only tertiary healthcare protection and healthcare services. Given that we have four clinical and hospital centers in Belgrade that can provide the secondary healthcare activities, but also the tertiary one. However, the University and Clinical Center of Serbia is the highest ranking healthcare institution in Serbia and should only deal with the most complex healthcare cases and they apply the, mo the most uh, sophisticated technology and uh, um, equipment. All healthcare indicators and the standards the way that we have uh, applied here, they apply to 1,000 uh, uh, population and we also took into account the the length of the stay in the hospital and also the complexity of the, the treatment. And all these um, ratios and all these indicators show that the ratio increases in line with the ranking of the healthcare institutions. And given uh, the the existing uh, we have uh, used our analysis on the on the uh, on the, the collected data and we compared them with the european standards and uh, we also set uh, goals uh, for mid term period and long term period so from 1 to 3 years or to th from three to seven years so you see medium term achievements or values and then long term values that are presented in parentheses i don't want to read them but we have opted for this period to uh, to allow these hospitals to prepare themselves to meet all the requirements that are set within specific categories these categories, in a way, show, define the, the pathway of the patients through the system, which means that uh, once the patient uh, goes to a local, local hospital, and if the patient requires uh, the additional treatment, the, this person is sent from the local hospital to the regional hospital, and then to the fourth category hospital. Whereas if the provincial hospital for a, a hospital cannot address a problem, uh, the the patient is sent to the highest category uh, hospital. So this means that the patients would come to the nearest institution and it's important for them to know where to go. And this is the way to relieve the highest ranking institutions of their burden and to, we allow them to deal with the most complex cases to apply cutting edge technology and to apply the mo most modern uh, techniques, uh, which is uh, which is in, in line with the practice, the medical practice of the 21st century. Next slide, please. In speaking about the secondary healthcare treatments, uh, we mostly see vertical and institutional integration or suggest. Uh, the new uh, law on healthcare adopted in 2019 uh, adopted mergers of uh, healthcare community centers with general hospitals uh, and making them or turning them into healthcare centers uh, rather than community centers. This is just uh, on short term. Uh, however, we also suggest 
establishing health care centers everywhere in Serbia, uh, which means that community health care centers are merged with local hospitals that are in the same place, in the same town or city. And you see here the categories of hospitals uh, located in specific uh, regions and you see what health centers can be formed uh, um, in the short term and midterm in in the long term from 8 to 15 years we suggest the for me forming the next level or we suggest the next level integration so at one level level of a region if one region has several centers they should all be merged into one health care center and if there's only one this means that only that other community health care centers would join exi the existing center there are several ex exemptions because we have several regions without general hospitals so for instance some uh, health centers like Arenjelovac or Aleksinets or Verbats will uh, will be standalone centers because they uh, are uh, hand in hand with uh, or they're close to university clinical centers and there is a special situation when it comes to Vršac, Loznica and Novi Pazar given that they have been announced uh, to be cities they they have changed their status into cities and because of their demographic importance they would remain their centers would remain um, functioning and they they even uh, became more um, uh, developed than than uh, than the the, the the centers of the of the, the regions and we also have to mention that uh, Užice Healthcare Center um, has been in place for a long time. They have developed their own dynamics. And uh, uh, since it uh, was uh, split up into several centers, our suggestion uh, is uh, for them to remain uh, at the same status. There's also horizontal integration that we suggest. Namely, I said that uh, some of these regions that involve uh, university centers, some community healthcare centers cannot be merged with those university centers because there is no general hospitals uh, in, in, in that particular region. So they, these community healthcare centers would be merged into one big um, center. The, the, I'm speaking about Vojvodina region, about the uh, South Bačka region, about uh, the Novi Sad region around Novi Sad, also community health centers in the Shumadia region, in Kragujevac and Nishava, Nish region um, that are close to the clinical center in Nish. In addition to institutions that provide acute, uh, that uh, treat acute illnesses, uh, we must never forget about the institutions that uh, deal with uh, extended treatments and, and treatments of chronic diseases. So we would uh, suggest a horizontal institutional integration at the level of regions. Namely, we would suggest to come up with one healthcare institution in each region that would merge together a similar healthcare institutions in that particular region. And you can see this. It's, uh, for instance, rehab institutions. Uh, in, this, this, in this way, we would use their capacity better uh, because we see that uh, some of, of their capacities are left unused, uh, some capacities of some special hospitals. Basically, their capacity could be much better used and also they could procure equipment better and educate the staff better and they could use all their resources better to organize their daily operations especially when it comes to organizing on duty staff we all know that we we don't have enough doctors and also we know that this uh, these types of healthcare institutions could uh, specialize uh, in in particular area better and uh, they they could also relieve some of their capacities for commercial services because some of their capacities are left unused and this group of special institutions involves or uh, uh, 
institutions in Šumadija and also special hospital for internal hospitals in Vrnjačka Banja. Uh, the, their capacities are rather unused. Uh, they have 70 beds and we would uh, merge them to with the central special hospital um, that that provides rehab services in Vrnjačka Banja. So basically we would merge them horizontally to strengthen the service at the secondary uh, level. Next slide. Nevenka, we, it's half an hour now. I just... A, uh, institutions that are connecting uh, uh, to the centers or institutions uh, and when uh, we talk are we talking about the neonatology uh, in so-called critical areas we will need functional integration uh, what we have in Belgrade uh, so institutions you have there listed in the surrounding in Belgrade neighborhood area we have specialized hospitals uh, which uh, which are uh, functionally connected to the uh, clinics, uh, uh, the affiliated clinics. Uh, okay, you can see it over here. Okay, I would like to ask Ivan, Ivana, we exceeded our 30 minutes, so let's stop it here. Let's maybe start the discussion. Ivan, what do you think uh, we should do or we should continue? We need another 10 minutes. Let's, let's, let's con continue with the presentation. Okay, oh, we, the, the emergency. Services, uh, I, uh, having in mind the uh, you know uh, traffic in Serbia and everything related to uh, uh, trauma uh, and uh, ne uh, you know emergency services uh, needs, we have six plus uh, one regional uh, institutes, uh, and you see Novi Pans that has been singled out as a geographically specific uh, uh, entity uh, because we think that we need to have inst inst institute over there and a call center within each one of course this would be coordinated uh, uh, with the, the uh, emergency services within the healthcare centers now the hospital uh, uh, emergency services uh, uh, this is related to the uh, healthcare centers uh, uh, the similar situation we have here uh, yeah, yeah. then the um, the KBC Serbia or the actually the uh, emergency uh, uh, center of Serbia, the UKC, uh, uh, UKC uh, Serbia uh, healthcare center should, you know, take off, take off some of that burden, uh, and then all, 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 uh, only the serious cases would go to UKC, UKC uh, Serbia, while uh, the uh, regular emergency would be uh, provided within the healthcare institutions. A transfusion is something that's uh, um, that's. Uh, Serbia as a EU can a EU candidate will face several regulations related to transphysiology uh, and uh, also related to blood and blood deriv derivatives, the quality, the level of quality, the quality control, uh, safety of blood and uh, blood derivatives. And this has to be significantly improved as regards to institutions. Uh, we propose uh, four main um, transfusion center to institutes uh, actually four institutes and also each one of them would have uh, a branches uh, having in mind the regional uh, needs uh, such as those in Subotica and Zajancar. Uh, Perintology has been uh, analyzed before we came, even before we came, and we use those study uh, in our uh, recommendations. This is uh, something that we think is very, very uh, much uh, important, especially for uh, birth centers, especially, and those uh, uh, mothers with uh, high risk uh, uh, pregnancies and you know uh, 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 children with uh, uh, health risks uh, 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 we also think we have um, uh, in our recommendations uh, uh, from you know shutting down those that are inefficient institutes over to opening specialized uh, birth uh, centers at the tertiary uh, healthcare uh, service we have uh, five uh, perinatology centers in serbia that have been developed through functional integration uh, 
uh, they organized as uh, shown here uh, on the uh, map or in the table palliative uh, uh, care is something uh, the subject to specialized strategy we think this strategy is good but it should be further uh, upgraded uh, uh, for the 20 to uh, uh, 2035 uh, for that period uh, of course, uh, this should be led by the Radiology and Oncology Institute of Serbia, uh, six regions uh, 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 coordinated activities should be in, uh, improved uh, via functional integrations, uh, gen geriatric and uh, regional uh, healthcare. Uh, it has been uh, uh, proposed that primary healthcare uh, uh, Primary level healthcare should be reorganized, but also the hospital level of healthcare should be uh, also re uh, reorganized for long-term uh, healthcare uh, uh, treatment, health uh, treatment, uh, and uh, also the reformulation uh, should be uh, uh, taken into consideration because of the aging population, the future needs in that uh, regard, uh, and uh, the uh, age diseases that are actually uh, uh, coming with it. Uh, then the pharmacies, uh, the ph uh, pharmaceutical institutions, we had a lot of discussions with the representatives of this sector. We also proposed uh, or recommended uh, six regional pharmaceutical institute, uh, in institutes which actually create a network of uh, state uh, or public uh, pharmaceutical institutes of course the state would be the foundation and uh, you know would be responsible for the operations of these uh, institutes uh, but also the contracting terms the you know uh, the operational terms for the, uh, the public or the so-called state uh, of, uh, pharmaceutical institutes uh, uh, should be uh, you know uh, be uh, on should be equalized on a fair basis uh, such as uh, centralized public procurement, better prices via that. Uh, demographically, it's very important uh, that each uh, citizen should be uh, provided uh, uh, with uh, the pharmaceutical services. Then the public health uh, institutes, uh, Batut Institute is uh, still the most important institution. Then um, we have institutional integration uh, here with uh, the but as the leading institution we have six regional uh, institutions with uh, units that are under each one of them uh, then the, the uh, forensics or the core medicine of course the equalization of the system has to be integrated integrated institute should be actually uh, merged with uh, the uh, faculties uh, this is how we did the equalization and finally the network plan i would like to ask uh, nevenka uh, just to summarize uh, the network plan okay uh, when we look in you know next 15 years 313 healthcare institutions institutions uh, you have a 117 in the end of, but we need to say, uh, say that it looks like a reduction but it's important to say that not in none of the institutions will be shut down some of the institutions will be focused on certain services uh, some will improve the complexity of procedures which leads to better uh, uh, you know use of capacities uh, of course you better use of staff which is uh, the most important uh, you know the whole integration uh, uh, recommendations will actually contribute to achieving integrated health uh, health care where the, si the the patient is going clearly through the healthcare system with all information available and at hand uh, uh, and the infrastructure is not going to be uh, uh, you know more complex uh, and according to our recommendations and analysis that we have prepared uh, uh, you know, we will see what should be done in the next 15 years, and we think that this, the next 15 year period, is enough to plan the implementation of the uh, change. Okay, next one. Okay, of course. Tatiana? The, 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 uh, RFSO, the fund? healthcare fund uh, uh, it should be harmonized with the new regionalization so no branch office uh, but actually we will have six regional centers of the fund 
uh, we did this in 2015 and uh, the efficiency has been improved. It's important to say that the financing and contracting uh, system has to be changed, have to be changed. Uh, you know, the efficiency improved after uh, that and the quality improved. 20% uh, uh, less uh, uh, referral uh, that has have taken place. Uh, uh, then the antibiotics consum antibiotics consumption rule has, has been used and so on and so on. These, are the th these were the benefits. Just briefly, uh, one of the very important thing at the part of this uh, uh, project, all information about the healthcare uh, s system, we managed to use a separate application. We created the GI, uh, GIS uh, ba database of all healthcare institutions in th that included 2,800 locations of uh, healthcare institutions. Uh, more than uh, 1,000 different cartographic uh, presentations have been uh, prepared and more than 1,000 analyses have been prepared. Let me show where uh, all this has been, uh, how all this has been populated. Uh, so we use the GeoPortal, which is the state uh, state uh, uh, portal where you have all geo uh, the geographic uh, information uh, this uh, database uh, e now has all uh, institu uh, information on all uh, healthcare institutions which is a long term uh, value for the uh, for for uh, the uh, for the for the use by the ministry of finance let me show how it, how it looks these are all healthcare institutions and you know when you click uh, on each of these uh, small crosses, you will get the information data on each healthcare institution. Just click on it. Also, uh, we uh, the uh, presentation of the general hospitals. You know, just the so-called general hospitals view. You see where you see where they are. When you click on each or each of these white circles, you'll get information on each uh, uh, institution. Also important is the geographical presentation of the uh, population. That's uh, you know which population is gravitating to which uh, hospital. You know this is uh, integrated with the uh, tables uh, that we have in that are there in Batut. So at the level of each uh, 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 hospital, you will see the population density and uh, uh, which uh, population is. Uh, uh, gravitating to which hospital this is what we uh, used when we prepared our recommendations for the ministry and just uh, a, a brief uh, conclusion so let's go back to the first uh, slide related to uh, you know you know uh, serbia improving and becoming closer uh, to what we have in slovakia and uh, czech republic we see that serbia is in the middle in southeast in uh, central east europe as regards to mortality of uh, uh, um, cancer incidences which is you know very very high especially if we compare it to Scandinavia Scandinavian countries this is what we want uh, to improve in Serbia uh, to those figures that we have in uh, Scandinavian countries this does not require big investments but it takes a lot of uh, uh, effort to be invested into reorganization and uh, achieving a, a better efficiency efficiency uh, centralizing uh, knowledge where you have centralized uh, centralized knowledge uh, or, you know where you have knowledge you have to infrastructure at hand uh, this will provide efficient uh, treatment uh, the annual uh, result would be 5400 men saved and uh, uh, 2050 women saved on annual basis in the long term period 10 to 10 year period 7, 75,300 uh, lives would be saved in a 10 year period uh, we think this is a, uh, a a valuable goal and the efforts should be invested into that thank you very much for your uh, attention you can find much more information uh, on uh, the webpage optimizaciasdrasa.rs uh, also, we would like to invite all participants uh, of today's conference uh, to leave their comments if they have one. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Sinisha. Thank you, Tatiana and Nevenka, uh, for this exceptional presentation. Uh, what we, uh, if Dr. Sumov Vukovic or uh, uh, Radmila Bolaic, if they have a comment, of course, I would like to uh, welcome uh, uh, Slajana Djukic, the Assistant Minister, who's uh, with us uh, today also. I forgot to tell uh, that uh, you talked to the, that Sinisha Varga was a, is a former uh, health, uh, health, uh, Minister of Health in uh, Croatia, oh, then uh, former 
uh, healthcare uh, fund uh, general manager uh, Tanya. So we had a, a real exceptional presenters. Uh, uh, Thirty uh, people are in the, on the platform now, and we have 350 uh, people that are uh, viewing us right now. So it's a big event. So uh, see more. Uh, if you have a comment, please go forward. We cannot hear you, Radica. Good afternoon. I want to greet uh, all the participants. Can you hear me? I would like to greet all the participants of today's conference and to extend my thanks to uh, the presentation of the project representatives, my associates in the Ministry of Health and myself. We all had an opportunity to consult with um, persons who have designed uh, this document uh, and we also took part in the, the designing in a way so to speak and we also had an opportunity to see the uh, healthcare ne network optimization plan and uh, to see it to analyze it end of october beginning of november in the the presented forum at that time and i would like to say that my associates and i have concluded that this is a good quality document that uh, was designed based on a comprehensive analysis that uh, suggested institutional integration of the healthcare institutions that comprise the network. And we have also, we in the ministry, uh, we have analyzed the uh, existing document and uh, uh, we, based on that, decided to uh, maybe uh, to uh, to uh, involve some uh, steps to accelerate uh, activities within our new decree or now new regulation that concerns the network and Basically, we wanted to uh, speed up the implementation of some solutions that have been suggested in this document. This is a draft plan. Uh, after all, but as far as we are concerned in the Ministry of Health, we have some specific suggestions that we will present to the uh, implementing partners of the project. But in general, we are satisfied with the project and we would like to commend the entire document, the whole document. And this would be all that I have to say today. Thank you very much, Simo. Thank you, Ivan. Allow me to greet all the participants of today's event, to thank you for your cooperation to date, uh, to thank the, the project team, and allow me to make a comment on the implementation of the project activities in the previous period. In Whereas our team uh, was a logistics, uh, pr uh, provided logistics services uh, and other um, types of assist, uh, assistance activities uh, to, uh, within the project. I had time to um, take a look at the, the questions that were posed through Slido and application and I just wanted to give you some information that will uh, present this document uh, in more detail. As we said, this is a strategic document which will, in particular segments, which will uh, direct the development of the healthcare center uh, system. However, up to a designed time. But the context that we are living in right now um, exposes us to the risk of a uh, failure. Uh, this is a concern that uh, that will remain. And uh, the second thing uh, that we became aware of is that the implementation of such documents uh, always involves uh, asking ourselves whether we have included the expert community properly and to the sufficient extent and whether we have included the general public in this activity to the desired extent and uh, i would like to invite everyone uh, who haven't had uh, who has uh, everyone who hasn't had an opportunity to take part in the discussion to 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 join to uh, embark on uh, it and to uh, provide suggestions to the ministry and uh, this will all be presented to the government uh, that is uh, 
responsible for its adoption. The master plan has been designed based on uh, the, the given uh, values on, on the the, the known values at this point in time. And as you know, there are many segments in the healthcare system in Serbia that function on the, the foundations that have been built in the, at, at the time of former Yugoslavia. And uh, the key inputs that we used to design these documents are as follows. Uh, we had to take into account serious demographic uh, changes that have happened in the last period. And uh, uh, also we had to take into account the aging of our population, which is a significant burden upon us all. And I know that all the stakeholders are familiar with this. And also on the other hand, we had to research the health and the health needs of the citizens in our country that have changed in the last 40 years. Also, we have analyzed what Serbia can get uh, in exchange for the current budget spent, uh, whether we are talking about public budget or private budgets of our citizens. And also we had to take into account existing capacity, um, the capacity that um, we inherited, um, uh, large buildings, large, large um, capacities that we have inherited. So this up the network optimization plan it was supposed to give us some answers basically the answer as to uh, to the question what can serbia get well, based on the capacity it has and based on the needs at, uh, um, of the citizens without going into shock therapies and breaking the system uh, and this proposal this draft plan that was provided by our consultants uh, shows that the government opted for the present preservation uh, of the public health care systems. So the idea is to preserve the health care system and to allow the participation of the private sector and to allow the, 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 two, the, the two sectors to cooperate. And I also, what I saw in your questions is the following. The, actually, what I want to answer is that the master plan that aims at optimizing the network was not required to cover some further segments like to include the reform of the financing of the system to include the mandatory social insurance or to deal with the legal status of the employees uh, it uh, they were the, the status of employees was taken as it is and the, I just want to draw you, your attention that within the second healthcare project in Serbia, mentioned by Biljana Kozlovic, um, within the last five years, we have made significant improvements and um, the, the the draft plan uh, was drafted because of that. We in, uh, allowed the new payment system and the hospital system. Also, we allowed the DRG system to be applied and the capitation system in the primary healthcare system. And and based on uh, such moves, we were able to analyze the capacity and the volumes um, present in our uh, healthcare institutions. We have a comprehensive system of data, data sets. And if you want me to talk about innovative systems, I will mention functional integration that uh, um, was rather well implemented in the, some uh, Western European countries. It uh, has remained unknown for us, but we plan to suggest it. We will uh, suggest using uh, the same staff or joint staff, joint resources. On the other hand, we do not want to uh, uh, close down a, a single institution in Serbia. Um, quite the opposite. We will try to use their capacity to the maximum level, meaning that we will be able to support their work with uh, the staff, with the equipment, and to make their services more accessible uh, and, and uh, uh, of better quality for the citizens. Uh, given the, the research that was done within this project um, during October 2019, um, what our citizens had said is that they want uh, better accessibility to specialized services. And we need to enable this 
in, by reorganizing the system in future, we need to eliminate exclusivity of these services. People living in large cities and towns um, can e access these specialized services um, easier than other people living in small places. And we want to we want to make them equal. I just want to mention that this uh, public discussion will not end today. The dialogue will last uh, not just until uh, uh, February or through February, but it will last until the Minister of Health co uh, closes it. And this document would allow us to to obtain the basis for evolution. This document would not break the existing system, will not abolish the existing system. It is a, this is a flexible plan. What does this mean? It will enable us to integrate services, to integrate service uh, institutions within the system that will remain in place, that will s survive, and they will be able to contract their services. Uh, basically, the the National Health Insurance Fund will contract, uh, will sign contracts with them, and the, this would also allow them to use program budget, and the integrated institutions would uh, would uh, remain in, in place, would c continue providing services. And another important thing is that this draft plan would allow us finally to do what the uh, experts have been suggesting us to do for many years, meaning that we will be able to uh, form a network of excellency, um, um, meaning we will have a catalog of the best possible services that Serbia can offer in any healthcare segment. This is the benefit for our citizens. Uh, they w would uh, be um, uh, enabled uh, easier access to all kinds of healthcare services, and this is this is how we should look at this document. Uh, this is what our this document will bring uh, uh, bring to us. Um, this is what institutional um, har mergers mean, and um, and a regional regional. Uh, healthcare concept. This is this would be all that I had to say, and I would definitely join the debate, join the discussion. Uh, if um, anyone wants to d discuss uh, anything, Sinisha wanted to add something. I wanted to extend my thanks to Ms. Bolatovic and Dr. Vukovic for their cooperation and for the kind words they they said about us. The thing is. The project team uh, uh, of the Ministry of Health um, was um, a, a good partner to us. We worked well together. Uh, Ms. Milosevic helped us uh, a lot uh, by finding data, but also helped us interpret the data in order to come up with uh, the best possible proposal or suggestion to, to the Ministry of Health. And once again, I would like to thank them. And I'm looking forward to our future cooperation um, at, in, the des, in the designing of the final uh, proposal of the plan, but also uh, in the next two weeks uh, uh, as we go through the public debate. And I believe that uh, all stakeholders, all interested parties would be more than satisfied with the document. Now is the opportunity to um, uh, open uh, our discussion. We have representatives here of the professional chambers. Uh, uh, we have uh, alliance, uh, healthcare alliance within the NALED, uh, who also supported the, the design of the plan uh, by uh, taking part in the research. Uh, we also have the uh, Dragan Micic, the president of the uh, Healthcare Council of Serbia. We have Snežana Rašić Georgievic, the secretary uh, of the association, and Georgios Konstantininis, another representative of another association, Radmila Ugrit. Uh, the director of the biochemist chamber. We have uh, the president of the, or the speaker of the Pirot Assembly. Uh, we also have Tatiana. So we we have created the environment uh, the, that would support um, fruitful discussion. I will open this, this discussion and turn. I'll turn it over to. Uh, the State Secretary, Mr. Vekic, 
to provide the first comments about the master plan. The floor is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my it's a great pleasure that uh, my friends and colleagues from Zagreb, I can, I can say hi to them, and it's a great pleasure. Uh, the master plan you presented is a high quality uh, document well done and we expect more suggestions and comments definitely <coughs> a lot of effort has been invested a lot of work has been invested and uh, it's a maximum uh, you know the maximum professional efforts have been invested and it's a high quality job uh, how realistic uh, it is to implement all this uh, you know the question you know, will give uh, our best but again uh, thank you very much uh, and again high quality uh, work is behind us uh, as regards to the uh, optimization plan I don't have any specific comment but if we go into comments uh, then there will be suggestions related to horizontal optimization and so on. So I would like to uh, maybe at some point we can uh, you know uh, discuss the, the 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 common views. We have certain uh, thoughts that uh, and actually the the the, uh, the the guidelines from our minister. That's why I joined this video conference. Uh, definitely, again, I would like to say good job for your work and. Uh, uh, your recommendations will definitely uh, going to uh, be actually uh, uh, will be the basis of the uh, future in healthcare institutions network in Serbia. Personally, I'd like to express uh, my uh, my my uh, satisfaction, and I agree with you with what you have pr proposed and recommended. Uh, uh, I won't take too much of your time, but in the coming period, uh, I would like to uh, open more discussions, uh, more detailed discussions, and to see or what specific idea have uh, as regards to implementation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, th thank you for letting me know, uh, for letting me join this uh, video conference and letting me opportunity to greet everyone. Okay. Okay, Sinisha, would you like to say something on, uh, can we continue? Okay, uh, I would like to s express my gratitude to Professor Witzke, prof uh, Mr. Vekic, uh, uh, and I would like to express my gra gratitude to the Minister uh, Launcher. Uh, without, uh, you know, uh, leadership from the Ministry, this would be difficult to do. Uh, you know, we had more than 6,000 uh, discussions with uh, uh, healthcare workers in Serbia, 350 institutions, surveys, data collection. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, efforts has been, uh, by them, has been invested to you know, respond to our uh, uh, questions. And, you know, without the leadership of the ministry, I don't think we could, uh, we would be able to do all this. Tatiana would uh, want to say a few words, uh, please, Tatiana. As Simo said, maybe, uh, uh, Never such a in-depth analysis has been uh, produced. Uh, more than 5,000 uh, uh, people we have consulted in this uh, 18 months, and but this is just uh, this is actually the beginning. This is a uh, still you know document uh, draft document, a live document. It should be upgraded. It should be uh, you know further upgraded. Uh, from one one to another, in each reform should be included. Each change that uh, is taking place in the system should be integrated uh, in the coming months uh, and uh, years. We uh, sincerely uh, hope so. Or uh, will be upgraded. Uh, uh, this document will be upgraded, uh, amended, and uh, improved. Uh, Professor Witzko also uh, wanted to wanted to say a few words uh, and. Uh, Mm. Can you move the camera, please? I would like to greet all of you again. I had to move to another office. It seems that my com my computer was, you know, just you know. Uh, had issues. Uh, uh, look, I'd like to propose to move to the discussions. Discussion, uh, you know, uh, 
as regards to the comments, uh, I participated with uh, the with Sinisha and the project team in all these uh, activities, and so uh, I was uh, uh, aware of the details of this draft. I think that we are close, but we are still far away. Uh, so we were all, all uh, we monitor, uh, we supervised everything, we monitored everything, but it's a lot of work to be done yet. Uh, uh, of course, in the interest of the healthcare care system of Serbia. Uh, the Mr. Konstantin Nidis uh, wanted to say a few words. Uh, uh, I would like to ask him for a few moments. Uh, we had two questions. Uh, uh, who will be uh, in charge of the master plan implementation? Somebody also asked uh, the start of implementation of the master plan is going to be dependent upon a, a change on or amendments to certain uh, laws. I think that they already responded uh, to what would be the uh, the order of actions as regards to the master plan. The government is in charge of uh, adopting and implementing uh, uh, this uh, document, the, the master, the, the the plan. Of course, uh, you know through the uh, ministry in charge. Of course, coordination within the ministry uh, with regard to other institutions will definitely, uh, you know. Uh, define uh, the implementation. The second um, question, it depends on uh, it depends on whether we're talking about the short term, mid term or long term uh, changes. I think that Nevenka Kovac has the best assessment in terms of uh, uh, what segment the law on the healthcare insurance or law along healthcare system should be changed. Even uh, can I can I join this? Yes, please. Uh, I, uh, I'm not going to go into details, but, uh, uh, you know, responsibilities, uh, for example, I don't know, transphysiology, then the public health care institutes, all of this uh, requires amendments to the law on health care. Uh, we are preparing that, of course, legal framework changes or amendments, uh, you know, is dependent upon why going how this document is going to look like in the end so this is draft this is uh, our proposal we need to wait for the public hearing public discussions then additional consultations with the ministry and then the final document uh, will you know with the final document will say what in detail uh, in terms of legal changes should be done uh, 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 in order for all this to be implementable then the brief uh, comment from the private healthcare institutions association they proposed that the document should clearly but clearly define that uh, uh, optimization uh, 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 the recommended optimization uh, plan is uh, related uh, to the uh, public health care institutions. Mr. Konstantinidis, uh, uh, if you're waiting, please go forward. I would like to, uh, the floor is yours. Not, uh, you know, uh, only to say that, you know, in a way I participated, uh, but participated personally and as the representative of the chamber. Uh, thank, uh, you know, the, you know having in mind the reforms uh, they have taken into in, in our country you know we don't want uh, you know to, to, to make the, the repeat the mistakes uh, Simo Vukovic said a lot uh, uh, but we need to say that uh, this would be a real strategic document and if you want it to become uh, a strategic document but in line with the, you know, uh, our system, we need to think about the amendments of the laws uh, and the financing uh, uh, segment also should be considered. Also, we need to say that we, uh, we need to consider the element of the system of private health care, which does not exist as a system itself, but there is a big uh, will uh, and clearly expressed will for the uh, private health institutions to join to this uh, and this will contribute to our colleagues from the uh, her Croatia have actually uh, presented, uh, presented to us in details uh, I think that this should have uh, this should uh, have been said uh, and we should not allow that all of these efforts of all of you and all of us uh, to fail uh, 
maybe we can create some kind of uh, guarantees um, uh, that the, uh, this is not uh, the implementation is not going to be dependent upon uh, what political elite uh, will be in five or six years when things uh, change. A, uh, we need to make maybe have a uh, overview in a uh, an overview of what's going on, what happened during the last year. So some kind of you know just a, a a milestones should be set up in terms of implementation. Also, we have a network, but as the colleague said at the very beginning, I forgot your name. Uh, uh, I just memorized Sinisha, but because uh, I saw him uh, on a few occasions. But what has been uh, the, the idea is that what we have defined it should be implemented. It should be implemented. This specialized uh, healthcare uh, definitely can be done at the. Uh, 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 secondary and tertiary level, and it should be implemented at that level. I'm a pediatrician and neonatologist, so uh, as regards to perinat uh, perinatal uh, health care, uh, we suggested uh, that all this should be organized uh, uh, this way. Uh, you know, we had a similar proposal 10 years ago as regards to reorganization of the system of per uh, per perinatal, uh, perinatal uh, system uh, it should be said that you know domestic experts should be definitely also uh, you know uh, listen the uh, uh, you know you know a reduction of the staff and I'm a local patriot can I ask a question? Uh, so, local patriot from Vojvodina would like to ask the following: In the midterm, a plan you planned that in Vojvodina, Sam, that's at five to fifty-seven healthcare institutions. Uh, to have to have reduction. Uh, so, of course, you recommended. Uh, so, uh, I just wanted you to ask about that. So, I really want to take care of the care plan, uh, but this such a complex say a uh, story of course uh, so uh, should be um, should be you know we must not allow to stay uh, any time I don't uh, uh, about numbers uh, you know uh, has a lot of institutions health care institutions comparing to other regions where uh, for example in western Serbia there are uh, a lot of uh, there are a lot of institutions that are, have been connected, integrated. Actually, there are 93 healthcare institutions, uh, so it has the biggest number of institutions. There are other uh, healthcare centers. Vojvodina is yes big in terms of its territory and uh, it has a lot of population. So after Belgrade region, uh, Vojvodina is the uh, biggest healthcare. Uh, Region because the whole uh, province, autonomous province, is one healthcare region. And all the other regions are, uh, you know, um, you know, more than 50 percent smaller. So uh, statistically and mathematically, that's why you have such a big number of institutions. But what I need to say, what I want to say uh, when we talk about the sizing of the healthcare uh, system. This is actually a modeling of the existing cap the existing capacities have been uh, the purposes of the existing capacity have been changed. Uh, this is a uh, th this is a 21st century trend. More uh, treatment in daily hospitals in daily treatment, less stationary capacities. Uh, when we when you consider the hosp the capacities of hospitals, there's a, uh, is going, it doesn't mean that the hospitals will be shut down. Actually, the purposes will be changed and uh, and will be used for different uh, forms of uh, treatment. Uh, you know, one uh, portion of beds will be for palliative care. One portion of beds would go to uh, so-called day hospitals or daycare. Uh, so modeling of the system, then remodeling of the system in order to improve uh, quality and actually to get the so-called excellence centers, uh, uh, which are definitely something that should be strived uh, uh, 
to in the uh, future. Thank you. Uh, we have 66 uh, questions. Uh, I will try to group the questions, you know, by topic, so that we don't go into each one of them. So more, most of the questions have been, uh, most of the questions have been uh, uh, received before optimization. Uh, you know, and many questions have been well be all answered via the presentation. Uh, you know, the students and the healthcare and student institutions. So, uh, can we uh, talk more about that? Yes, yes, I can briefly mention that. This is an activity that concerns primary healthcare services. We have uh, analyzed the European practice and some evolutionary processes uh, that were going on in many post socialist countries, namely, uh, student healthcare institutes. Uh, um, are the, the relict of uh, the past, are the relics of the past, and the human organism uh, from a certain period of time um, falls under the area that, uh, that for, for which uh, specialized doctors uh, uh, take care of. Basically, the special area that the student health does not require special institution, special area. And that's why we uh, suggested uh, this institution to be merged with with community health care centers. Thank you. There are many questions about pharmacies. We have touched upon them in the presentation, but there are some specific questions as to what is going on in Zrenjanin and Panchevo. When is the master plan um, anticipated to, to uh, be implemented or when the implementation will begin. Even there is a comment that the master plan will not be effective in this area. So can you tell us more about their future? We are speaking about pharmacies that are publicly owned and uh, there there was a heated debate about this we suggest uh, having six regional pharmacies with a network of satellite uh, units uh, satellite uh, pharmacies in the regions in particular regions and this would uh, increase uh, their efficiency one of the basic things is uh, to uh, amend their status um, by amending the law, basically allowing them to compete uh, equally with uh, with uh, commercial pharmacies. Uh, we wanted the, the, to lift the, the bans and the, the um, obstacles that prevent them to do so now. And as for their number, this should be fine-tuned in time. Uh, this is something that the market will do. This is something that their quality will do. And we must say, that uh, in the, the research and the polling that we did, the, the, the citizen polling uh, has shown us that uh, the pharmacists were, were rated best um, in terms of their quality and accessibility. And this is something that to be preserved. We need to preserve them. Uh, so wherever they have remained and survived, they should be in integrated into the network more efficiently and enable them uh, uh, to become commercial, to, to basically uh, to um, uh, compete with uh, commercially owned pharmacies. Naturally, I can go on um, and uh, mention this part that concerns contracting of their services and also uh, contracting the services of private pharmacies. This is something that the National Health Insurance Fund has done before to increase the network. And this is something that the National Health Insurance Fund can go on doing. So wherever uh, there are no public, uh, whenever there, there are no public um, uh, pharmacies, the private uh, pharmacies can also issue um, medications and, and medicinal devices on, on uh, doctor's recipe uh, recipes. Um, Milan Dinic, the president of the medical chamber of Serbia, has joined us and I will let him join the discussion. There must be some problems with his connection. While waiting for him, let's answer uh, the, these questions that concern dentists. 
and um, their status, whether they will be employed in clinics or community healthcare centers, whether their scope, the scope of their services and volume of their services uh, needs to change or is plan to be changed. Uh, dentist, dentist, we're talking about dentist. Given that I am a dentist, uh, this is my vocation, I can uh, talk about this uh, topic for sure. The the situation, the present situation is a bit awkward. There, There is a standard um, of 10,000, of having one dentist per 10,000 uh, inhabitants and uh, given that their services are limited uh, because uh, community health care centers cannot provide all kinds of speciali specialists in, in this area. So we're talking about um, rationality, whether this is rational. So our suggestion is to reduce the standard, to reduce the number of inhabitants per one dentist. And the dentist service must include a larger number of services or cases. Uh, the dentist should be able to pro provide various kinds of, of, uh, of services, whereas specialists should be organized uh, just as we suggested for the medical doctors, uh, the, the specialist service, specialized services should be provided at the level of general hospitals. And on an as-needed basis, these specialists, and this is easy uh, for healthcare centers, but whenever the, the community healthcare center is dislocated, is, is far away from the, from the hospital, uh, These the specialists should um, uh, visit um, community healthcare centers on a regular basis. So those are, those should be visiting doctors. So in smaller uh, community healthcare centers, um, uh, there should be specialists uh, visiting them uh, on a regular basis and providing their services. Thank you. Another question: What is going on with beds uh, with uh, within community health centers that provide that uh, that have inpatient facilities? So, for for community health care centers with uh, with inpatient facilities, the the staff working there um, and providing a. Uh, in-house uh, or inpatient uh, services, they would be moved and they would be sent to the local general hospitals and uh, those beds would be turned into beds for outpatient outpatient services for, for, for instance, geriatric services. Another question, what is planned uh, for the institutes that provide, that provide protection for the uh, health uh, of workers? Uh, yes, those are specific institutes. There is a large institution that takes care of the health of the workers and uh, they provide preventive uh, services uh, uh, for working age population and um, uh, their capacity within this institution and outside the institutions will be merged with the community health care centers, but also through vertical functional integration, they will be uh, close, working closely with uh, the um, institutes in Belgrade. Uh, question about the public health uh, institutes, institutes of public health, whether the, they will be integrated financially uh, can the, the staff be moved uh, from one institute to another uh, on an as-needed uh, basis uh, for the need of projects? Yes, this is a complex question. So I would like to ask uh, uh, the person who have, who asked us to uh, use our web page, to use optimizaciasdravstva.rs uh, to ask this question. So we need to differentiate this between the financing and uh, providing funds for public health activities. And so the, 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 to vary that bit from the activities of provided other activities provided by public health care institutes. And this is a political issue. And uh, this uh, uh, has to be, uh, this question has to be answered at a later date. Uh, what about reference institutions and reference laboratories? Uh, um, uh, is there a plan for them? 
the question about reference laboratories and uh, quality control of medical and laboratory facilities is something that needs to exist. Uh, this needs to be regulated by law. For the time being, this uh, is still a pending issue, and also this question needs to be asked uh, through through the through the web page, and uh, we will find the answer to this question uh, during the two week long uh, discussion public debate. A question by the media: What can be done in the short term? Everything out of out of the stated activities. What can be completed in short term? So this is the question for the ministry. Our suggestions and uh, our timeline, suggested timelines, um, are uh, subject to, to, to change uh, uh, pursuant to the political will, to the circumstances in the field. There is this new regulation, this new decree. Um, we, uh, this needs to be harmonized with the law on healthcare. We see that. Um, the institutional integration hasn't happened yet. Uh, uh, the institutional integration in anticipated by this document, and let me mention that uh, pursuant to the uh, to existing uh, regulation on the network, um, uh, s uh, some. Um, uh, some situations, uh, some institutions need to be broken down and uh, decentralization is also anticipated, not just mergers. So basically the speed or the velocity of our activities depend on several factors, not just the Minister of Launcher. It certainly doesn't depend on us, on, on the, the consultants. It's always up to the people and uh, the uh, how quickly they can absorb the reform measures. Slavica Cimbalevic, uh, the director of the biochemist chamber, chambers raised her hand. The functional integration uh, um, does not only uh, does not concern the financial um, expenditures, expenditures and costs. It, it only concerns the will, whether people are willing to do so. So in speaking about integration, this does not require the additional funding. As uh, my colleague has mentioned, most of these things uh, do not depend on finances. They mostly depend on goodwill and the willingness of people to um, to act. Thank you very much. I would like to um, allow Dr. Simbalevich to join us. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. I am not able to turn on my camera, but it is important for us to hear each other. I would like to greet all the attendees on behalf of the Biochemist Chamber of Serbia. So at the same moment when you asked the question about lab, uh, laboratories, uh, I, I got an idea and to, to join. Uh, basically, yes, I'm also interested in, in, in laboratories. The, the biochemist chamber has uh, shared the, the information about the public debate with its members. Uh, so I expect uh, some additional questions to come from our members as well. And as for today, after hearing this uh, presentation, that was uh, an excellent one. Uh, everything was very clearly presented to us. But I must say that uh, the document that we have received even before this um, uh, event uh, is, a, is a clear one, is a well-drafted document. Uh, it presents well what is to be expected in the future period. As regards uh, laboratories, uh, we are, this is war, what uh, was in our focus most. I must say that there are some suggestions that uh, will be good for our laboratories, such as better coordination among institutions and better exchange of information and information sharing. This is good. This is good for diagnostics to reduce the number of uh, analysis that are, uh, were asked, that were required, uh, that we were asked to do, and about multifunctional uh, primary uh, healthcare centers. Uh, that uh, would be able to provide some diagnostic services and uh, the plan to reinforce their capacity. So 
uh, in order to uh, strengthen this element at the, the primary level, the, the laboratories need to need to be involved as well. Um, I'm saying this would be all for the time being, and uh, I expect more uh, questions from our members. And what I would like to suggest uh, to do now, uh, given that we have representatives of the Ministry of Health Care here and the project team. So whenever you talk about uh, a particular organization or whenever you talk about laboratories and uh, please involve uh, uh, laboratory specialists uh, the republic uh, uh, commission uh, uh, for clinical and medical biochemistry so because with our area is rather specific so please uh, consult our experts whenever you plan to do something about laboratories uh, when you you mentioned the debate public debate with public institutions and you mentioned that uh, they were involved uh, in the in the meetings and they had an opportunity to present uh, their data relevant data uh, for, uh, you also said that they presented the data about laboratories uh, thank you very much uh, for the time that you had for us. You can count on us on our chamber. We're always uh, open for cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Danich from the chamber uh, managed to join us here. So please comment. Good afternoon. Hope you can hear me. You know, the, the network restarted. They had problems, but I uh, could have, you know, my, uh, yeah, watched uh, everything via YouTube. Uh, first, thank you, thank you to the, to the entire team. And the most important thing is that they recognize the needs of the uh, population and the geographic and demog demographic uh, tendencies and. The goal of our chamber is to uh, we will provide technical recommendations for certain procedures, how they can be organized. I see that several consultants have already, uh, you know, touched on that. Uh, for example, the topic related to the healthcare for students, then also the selected. Uh, uh, practitioner a G selected the GP uh, topic and then the staffing plan uh, okay. sorry I'm sorry this is the interpreter I cannot hear him clearly I I think that the I believe that master plan uh, will in the coming period will be implemented. Uh, uh, you know, uh, entirely it will improve to the it will contribute to the improvement of the healthcare system uh, uh, in its entirety. Uh, thank you. Any comment uh, from the project theme? Okay, I would like to say thank you, uh, Dr. Dinich. Uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, of course. Uh, I always speak about super primary. Uh, the selected GP should be the, you know, in the handball, you know, the pivot, pivot player, or the uh, center, uh, central player in the offense in football. Uh, uh, he should be the one who's coordinating actually and leading the the, the, the game in terms of, you know, uh, you know, keeping track of what's going on with the patient. You know, and you know, coming to the old age with uh, uh, with 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 less uh, diseases, uh, the, the, the least possible um, uh, you know number of diseases. Of course, in coordination with. Uh, uh, thank you for coordination. Thank you for contribution to all chambers and all other institutions. Yes, we need to help to the GP uh, in terms of organizing the skills, knowledge, uh, equipment, uh, competencies, other human resources. Uh, uh, related to administration, uh, you know, uh, nursing staff, all other supportive uh, things uh, that 
can uh, contribute to our GP, as Satya said, that he can do that. The, the GP can do 75 percent of the thing, as Satya said. Uh, you know, when uh, you know a patient comes over there, we all of us were part of the Yugoslav system, uh, Yugoslavia system, and you know, post Yugoslavia system, we uh, know how to you know easily you know write down a, a, a so called instruction to go to the hospital. You know, you know, and you know, we know in Chupria, for example, people, you know, were sent directly to the UKC, uh, Serbia, uh, of Serbia. Uh, you know, we need to change the old habits and change of old uh, habits is not the thing that can be done in a short time period, but it can, uh, it, uh, it's the cheapest thing to do. Um, change of habits, change of uh, conduct, maybe certain, just certain kind of stimulation, motivation that can be uh, provided by the uh, 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 the, the healthcare fund and the, the ministry, maybe certain education that could be done by the chamber of doctors uh, or other institutions that are actually associating doctors. And I think that in a relatively short uh, period of time, we can improve uh, the healthcare system. You know, uh, I would like to add uh, to what Sinisha said, healthcare, uh, uh, World Health Organization, in all of their events, they are saying the integration of the healthcare, so connection between the primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, in many countries, we don't have that, uh, and it's not, it's not, it's not in position to put the patient in the focus and to be, uh, you know, led through the uh, uh, system without any overlapping, uh, to have all information from all levels on a patient, and there's a coordination. Uh, 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 between all entities that are actually doing the treatment, you know, everything that's done by the laboratory, the the other uh, all other elements of the clinical system, uh, uh, all uh, that are uh, uh, that are uh, actually um, treating the patient uh, should be, uh, you know, uh, well coordinated. This has been done via better organization. and document is focused on better documentation. Thank you, Tanya. One question. Thank you, Tanya. One question uh, we got from uh, via chat. Uh, what, from the point of uh, the point of view of the patient, means the following? You know, specialized service in moving to the hospital. Uh, to the hospital, what does it mean? You know, maybe the the um, the other rhino, uh, rhino, rhino laryngologist can this specialized uh, a uh, medical check can be done in a primary healthcare system in the healthcare uh, center, or they need to go to the hospitals. Okay, I would like to talk about that. This is one of the probably the most important uh, recommendation uh, in our document. Uh, a current. Uh, form of uh, uh, ensuring specialized care at the level of the health uh, care uh, uh, center uh, was based on the you know minimum uh, population that's required to provide this service. Uh, then we had, uh, therefore, we had a lot of healthcare institutions that didn't have specialized uh, services, like uh, because they didn't have enough population to meet the requirement then we had specialized uh, sp specialists in the healthcare center uh, you know which had a poor uh, equipment and infrastructure in the healthcare so the knowledge of the specialist in the clinical uh, environment in a clinical hospital or in a general hospital is totally different compared to one who's in the healthcare center. So we want to use, we want to upgrade his knowledge, his experience through direct interaction with other uh, specialists in uh, hospitals. On the other hand, we want to ensure that each healthcare center we want to ensure that each healthcare center will have specialized, you know, where we have uh, five States of specialized services. We want to ensure that, but uh, in those health centers, health centers where we didn't have specials, we want to ensure that we uh, have uh, at least in, in uh, one or two days. Uh Even I'd like uh, a second of your attention. I think this is important for all participants of the discussion because I've seen a lot of questions about this. An integra integral part of our project activities um, 
concerned this uh, this uh, optimization plan and also we were required to draft the the the, the rule book uh, uh, that will uh, regulate uh, uh, service provision in detail and this is an important document for all of us in the healthcare system so this pro document is practically uh, completed and it will uh, be further developed by the Ministry of Health. Uh, and, uh, this is planned for the next week because many questions concern the, this bylaw, this, this, the rules, uh, rule book. Uh, th this is the regulation that will uh, regulate the work of our uh, healthcare institutions. So I'm saying this document is done, ready, prepared. And on the other hand, the consultants uh, have uh, provided uh, the new staffing plans and uh, what is important also the rule book or the rules on internal organization of our healthcare institutions at the request of our ministry of health uh, at the request of our client uh, we have prepared these comprehensive documents including the amendments or uh, proposals how to amend the the relevant laws so in that sense uh, the, the laws and amendments of the laws with uh, w this is something that it's not going to represent a problem uh, given the political will and this is not going to pre cause any problems uh, um, midterm or in the long run short term and mid term and i'm i'm i hope i hope that our participants are now able to to absorb this information and to understand it uh, before we receive comments of mr dinic uh, i just want to say that you can visit www.optimizatia.zdravstva.rs and this is where you can find the the plan and all the suggested amendments Thank you. I would like to mention something that uh, our colleague uh, said last. Now we ha we see this discrepancy between the needs of citizens and the number of uh, employees. And we have to be careful how to communicate uh, this with the, the patients. We, uh, this message, uh, we we have to expa expand uh, the, the, the tertiary level to meet the needs. Uh, uh, so the staffing plan is, in that sense, the most important document. Um, we must pay attention to those that are uh, those services and those institutions that are understaffed, um, especially uh, in uh, smaller places in Serbia we have to uh, reorganize the system without disturbing the the well-functioning exist existing well-functioning units yes i would agree with dr dinich one of the things important things that we need to consider and we are discussing it with the ministry of health and the project team is as follows what triggers employment we our idea is that trigger for employment that pension uh, and retirement of uh, doctors or nurses should not be a trigger for new employment we think that renewal of staff should begin um, uh, much earlier that that uh, uh, hiring should be continuous for instance if somebody uh, has five years until retirement, uh, this is where a new young doctor should be sent uh, uh, for specialization. They should start uh, working together, and, uh, and the first doctor can re can uh, freely retire, whereas the new doctor is already in place. And uh, this is how the switch would be um, smoothly done. This requires the changes of the usual practice of the the. the National Health Insurance Fund and the Ministry of Health, and this is what we suggest uh, wholeheartedly. Uh, thank you. We also have a question. Actually, somebody wants a clarification of functional mergers, functional connections. Sasha Yokanovic raised his hand and then he changed his mind. Sasha, if you want to join us, please raise your hand again. So the question about functional mergers. Or... Nevenka mentioned this briefly, and I will explain this in, in more detail. So functional mergers. 
do not require additional funding. They, they only require goodwill to relevant, close, similar institutions only need to recognize that their services would be more effective and better if they merge, integrate. There are several examples, like for on-duty calls, uh, for instance, two hospitals or two community health care centers who are close to each other can cover the, the, the have better coverage by sharing, uh, by pooling their their employees, uh, by relieving their doctors of uh, uh, frequent on-duty calls, uh, they could uh, use the same equipment. They shouldn't duplicate the equipment. The, the equipment, if they can uh, place the equipment uh, of certain sort in one institution and a, a different uh, type of equipment in another. Uh, and also using the stationary equipment, for instance, two uh, general hospitals that are close to each other, for instance, can organize themselves by providing, for instance, services where the one uh, general hospital will provide outpatient uh, facility services and the other can provide the inpatient facility uh, services. So. Uh, when we take a look at the capacity of uh, of uh, all these uh, healthcare institutions, we see that uh, uh, they're uh, mostly underutilized, and we think that uh, we can uh, more use uh, their capacities more rationally by integrating them together, by merging them together. And it is important to mention that the, we're not uh, um, basically reinventing the, the wheel. This is something that other countries have done to increase their efficiency and effectiveness. And also, uh, in a way, we have a lot of hospitals that are located 30 kilometers away from each other and they all have problems with staffing with insufficient number of doctors uh, insufficient funds to uh, to procure new equipment and each of them are um, uh, have uh, are suffering they need to sit together um, sign contracts and say we are covering this you're covering that we are buying this you're buying that as Sinisha said and uh, this will be better for their employees but uh, also for the patients the patients will remain uh, with uh, in the area within 30 kilometers uh, and they will not be sent to the next category hospital uh, there will be no uh, travel costs uh, this will be more pro uh, adequate for the aging population and the service would be more uh, of better quality basically we need to provide a certain volume of services uh, the uh, one up one hospital cannot have 10 operations in a year and and provide a good quality service so the patients by merging services uh, patients will get uh, definitely better services and services that they were not able to get before it's time for sasha to ask his question Sasha, uh, we hear you. Uh, this uh, is a bit late because uh, I wanted to ask about uh, sending specialists to hospitals, but it is important to say that you must not uh, draw a parallel between publicly owned and privately owned institutions. You should never compare. Uh, these two should never be compared because the private institutions uh, are already integrated. What we su suggested, uh, our suggestions concern only public institutions because they're burdened and uh, there are problems with general practitioners um, because they have to uh, consider the patient twice if they want to send him or her to hospital this is what this is where we introduce the change the doctor leaves the patient to the specialist who's in hospital uh, to take care of the patient um, and this is going to be a secondary health care service and also there wouldn't be a need uh, for the patient to be examined the second time because the specialist who works at that particular hospital where this patient is is sent uh, has already looked at him this um, sheds light, uh, light to an important problem that the government started uh, addressing and this is the matter of e um, uh, R uh, medical records so 
uh, one patient um, goes from primary to the secondary level of healthcare services and there is a file one file that monitors his movement and so uh, for instance one of the uh, ophthalmologist can uh, look at 30 patients and and it's better for citizens to uh, to uh, receive these services locally. So for the specialists to travel or to visit local services and also um, travel uh, as regards the travel, 50 kilometers would be the, the longest distance as the, the healthcare workers should cover. Thank you, Sasha. Uh, I need to say that uh, uh, media uh, people ask uh, the, uh, the full name uh, of Nevenka because they liked her presentation, Nevenka Kovac from Delta House. Uh, how the, uh, who you consulted, who did you talk to, uh, and uh, have you talked to the trade unions, uh, to actually to the unions? And the representatives of other associations, uh, Sinisho, Sinisho, if you can. Okay. He's back. I'm back. So, uh, Sinisha, have you heard the question? Uh, can you please repeat the question? Uh, the question regarding to muscle bone development, how did you s uh, select the interlocutors in the system? Uh, you know, and how did you talk to the associations and uh, trade unions? Uh, um, I think that we, uh, you know, picked up uh, any uh, uh, small stone. We talk to the chambers, all institutions, uh, uh, associations, uh, uh, then uh, uh, through the project team, uh, we talked to the Ministry of Health, uh, all uh, memorandums and proposals were Uh, all useful um, pieces of information that we received in the field work were integrated uh, and also it's not late it's not late to receive new comments if there are those who are interested uh, to provide their comments like associations of patients uh, trade unions of uh, uh, medical workers uh, can f uh, freely provide their comments I'm just saying there are many interested parties um, who were involved in the last uh, year and a half but also um, others can uh, can join and um, what made uh, this process difficult uh, is the pandemic uh, this pandemic has uh, uh, blocked us uh, has uh, um, prevented us uh, to to go uh, and visit many uh, of you i'm i'm just saying you're not late for anything um, we have invited you to to freely provide your comment there is a platform to do so we uh, are open for communication and uh, and uh, about, uh, about the plan and its implementation afterwards the questions, how would I put it, uh, um, concern physical moves. Uh, so, so there are many questions that concern moves and uh, whether you plan to, to move facilities physically or so. Uh, so this is the question about functional integration. I will give you exactly what the question is. Whether this will imply administrative mergers and f physical movement movements. No, no, we're not moving buildings. The hospitals will be there where they are now. Uh, we have uh, analyzed, we had a deep analysis of the infrastructure and we have defined five types of priorities. Uh, we actually considered how the infrastructure and facilities need to be uh, renewed and uh, we suggested uh, uh, investments uh, into facilities uh, but as regards the employees functional integration means 
that the employees would remain working in their uh, original institution. They're not changing jobs. They're not changing the employers. They work within the institution that they've worked before, but based on a contract with another institution, they would visit a, a different institution. They would provide their services elsewhere, just like their colleagues, specialists would come to their institution. So they would all remain in place. Nobody moves anywhere. I would like to ask you things if functional integration is uh, uh, an institutional organization is done uh, in two ways, either merging one institution to the other uh, or, uh, you know, connecting two institutions into the third institution. What's important to say is that uh, when we have such a situation in Croatia, we managed to, uh, to use uh, EU funds. Actually, we got 100 million euros from EU funds for actually the adaptation uh, of daily hospitals, equipment and so on, uh, based on uh, the announcement of various forms of integrations. Uh, you know, then you do the assessment of what staff, uh, uh, staff infrastructure can be used, what can be kept, how can you do it, uh, uh, where new things should be uh, added, when the, where the mergers can be done. It's the issue of individual uh, cases, uh, instit uh, institutional organization, in institutional organization, you have a lot of, lot of uh, room to do things in the functional organization. There's not much uh, room for, for, uh, for uh, you know, for organization. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, you know, reorganization of the, you know, uh, uh, schedule of the staff. Uh, one question uh, maybe should be the sh maybe should be clarified how the hospitals have been ranked by categories in Chupria. From Chupria, people think that the hospital has the characteristics of the uh, category three, and they have been actually uh, a uh, uh, located in category one uh, as regards to hospital category hospital categorization we did it by analyzing data on how hospitals are operating today so we uh, analyzed the data the planning documents and what uh, what was the complexity of procedures that are carried out as it to category three uh, we're talking about the clinics we talk about uh, regional hospitals at the level of the region not at the level of the district or the county so these are I these are institutes, uh, uh, clinical hospitals, uh, clinical hospitals, clinical centers in Niche and Kragujevac. Uh, so if we look at that, uh, the, as regards to the analysis uh, of the implementation, the services provided uh, in the hospital in Chupria, definitely it's not at the level of the university center, in, for example, in Kragujevac. Uh, and Kragujevac is in category three. So uh, we uh, uh, worked a lot on uh, the categorization. Uh, also, there are parameters and indicators that are related to uh, uh, no, uh, um, uh, similar um, di uh, diagnostic uh, groups and so on. So we all of these ta have taken care into consideration, DRGs. Uh, so we extended this uh, a, um, a presentation, 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe we should be thinking about wrapping up. Um, so uh, we would like to invite you to send your questions and comments. So we are the uh, our page optimization of optimizatis uh, uh, and they will be directed to the ministry uh, and to our team. I would like to ask Sinish uh, Tatiana and Simo to uh, finalize. Uh, our uh, event with their comments. Okay, Tanya Nevenka, uh, uh, myself and Simo. Uh, what's important to say is uh, all this has been done uh, with the aim to improve the quality and availability of uh, services and equalization of the uh, healthcare services at the level at the at in the entire in the at the level of uh, Serbia. This is a working on document, as uh, uh, Simo said, we expect from all of you to send us uh, as many comments as you as, as, as you can. Uh, very briefly, uh, I envy, in a way, I, I envy you, uh, uh, 
because you're working on this because you're going to uh, better organize the system or you will improve the quality of uh, healthcare uh, service uh, significantly with this new organization patients will get much much better uh, uh, quality service uh, in the end we all uh, we do is to make our patients healthier and when they need a healthcare service uh, we make it available as soon as possible this is what we're working on okay thank you uh, our uh, recommendations uh, uh, as uh, has been previously said uh, their purpose is uh, to improve the quality uh, of healthcare uh, services and uh, and the availability of healthcare services. Uh, we want uh, uh, the Republic of Serbia in terms of the figures that they will achieve, the statistics, the future statistics related to treatments. We think that, you know, comparing to the uh, global trends, we think that with, this, uh, with these measures in a short period, we can put the system efficiency uh, at the top, uh, to, to Serbia to be ranked at the top, among top countries. Uh, we, uh, are for the model of uh, that the more efficient, the higher the uh, cost, uh, and uh, uh, that everything that's there are patients' rights to health care, that all of these rights can be immediately uh, a realized at uh, the level of health care, uh, 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 care which is the most efficient. Demo, uh, first, I would like to say. Uh, express my gratitude to all participants, uh, especially my colleagues uh, from the consultation IDF, uh, Dr. Hannah Sandy, and Naled for uh, uh, their work. We have uh, several more weeks uh, 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 of work to do, uh, but the Jalan Sheridan work has been completed. Uh, it's uh, very important to talk about this, that we talked about this document. Uh, you know that we always move from one thing to, uh, the, uh, uh, to the other, and very often these kind of documents are observed as an, are observed non-critically. I think that we uh, have uh, uh, these electronic and uh, you know online platforms that allow us uh, the widest possible and participation that can be imagined. Uh, and I expect that a new wave of interest will uh, you know. Uh, Soon arrive, uh, uh, sooner arrive in terms of you know deliberating this kind of important strategic document that will have high quality recommendations. What I would like to ask everyone who will read and uh, who will think about this document in the coming days, because uh, you know uh, some people saw this document for the first time just a few days ago. I would like to ask you to try to uh, view this uh, document from another point of view, from a new point of view. Uh, uh, let's try to uh, 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 liberate ourselves uh, from the so-called engraved forms uh, of uh, understanding the healthcare uh, uh, system. There are some systems that were very, very uh, good, but there are, you know, uh, si things that are, you know, there were, you know, imprinted in our uh, uh, minds when we think about the patients, number of beds, number of institutions, so on, so on. So we need more flexibility. We need to think about the new methods of payment and that, that way we change the healthcare system we cannot do it with the uh, instead of doing it with uh, you know uh, you know uh, official acts or official documents which in the end uh, turn uh, you know turn to be actually not uh, not good for the patients and not uh, fulfilling the needs uh, uh, of the patients that's why we need new solutions and what's encouraging for me now and uh, what uh, I think was the uh, main driver of the Ministry of Health and our, consult, cons uh, our consultants who have uh, had specific direct experience in producing master uh, plans like this one in one of several countries uh, uh, in the, uh, previously. We are late maybe with this uh, master plan, but we have in our pockets positive and negative experiences uh, of other countries. Uh, with that's why we think this concept is the uh, summary of all or the aggregation of all those experiences for example uh, with new uh, methods of payments we use the experiences uh, uh, of other countries and uh, which does not bring big uh, disruption into our uh, healthcare system again uh, thanks to uh, everyone thanks to uh, 
thanks to all uh, people from my organization and of course my uh, my colleagues from the Ministry of Health. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to the uh, project team. Uh, uh, this is the, fi uh, the final part of our discussion, but this is not the final uh, part of the public hearing, public, public discussion. I would like to ask Mr. Fennels to uh, wrap up today's events and actually present us uh, main conclusions and uh, provide us information uh, related to uh, the future of the implementation of the master plan. Uh, I would like to say uh, thanks for your for the questions. Thanks. I'd say thank you for the question. Thank you for us. Um, suggestions and thank you for initiating the topics related to the process of optimization of the healthcare institutions in Serbia. What we uh, initiated will uh, uh, last until February 22nd, but I believe we will exceed this uh, 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 deadline. Uh, uh, I would like to invite us to come uh, with these, uh, to, to, to get to know these uh, uh, solutions and that all um, suggestions and comments uh, should be uh, should be sent via the uh, our page optimizacijazdravstva.rs uh, or Ministry of Health will analyze all suggestions and if need be where well, they will be uh, included into the master plan we expect the document to be adopted uh, in late February or in early March and uh, uh, also, uh, the adoption of the rule book is also to be uh, adopted soon, and the new network of healthcare institutions is also approaching the adoption. They will also be subject to public uh, discussion, and then we will uh, move to the procurement of the uh, most contemporary. A diagnostic equipment such as CT scanners, uh, uh, MRs, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, we expect suggestions. Uh, the ministry is open uh, for uh, creating uh, an optimal uh, uh, healthcare system uh, jointly. Thank you, uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, this is the final part of our event. Uh, thank you. Thanks to uh, Mr. Vetch and Vitsko, representatives of uh, the project of the second uh, Serbia second uh, uh, healthcare uh, project, NALED, representatives of the chambers, professional chambers, uh, thanks to the media representatives. Uh, and I would like to invite you uh, to, uh, you know, uh, come with interest for information that you can get on our webpage and that uh, uh, in 2035 we will have high quality and reliable and equally available uh, healthcare system system based on the high